Porsche chat. Take three. Good evening, everyone. It's uh, Friday evening in London. Um, I wanted to do this video early today, but time has got away from me. Um, it's about eh, it's eight o'clock in the evening here in London, so I thought I'd just start this today, but I'll probably finish it tomorrow. Um, I just want to talk about what I think are the six six main reasons to buy a Porsche 911 997, or in fact any any 911, I guess, but. I'm going to base it on really the 997 because that's what I have now, even though I've only had it for a very short time, as you all know. Um, let me just go through the six reasons why I think you should buy a Porsche 997. The Porsche, uh, the Porsche 997 was released in 2004. It was released in the standard version and the S version. Uh, the standard version was based on an engine, I think, from the 996. Uh, the S was a 3.8 liter, uh, a 3.8 liter version. Uh, the standard was a 3.6. Um, I have a 3.6, as you probably already know. Um, so you know, I guess these these uh, these six reasons to buy a 997 is based on the standard model. But I mean, it encompasses pretty much the whole 997 range. Um, yeah. So let's start. Number one. The 997 is is less expensive than other sports cars. Uh, I'll base the prices on Australia because that's where my car is. Um, but it's still a good entry into the sport car market. If you're looking at secondhand Maseratis or secondhand Ferraris or secondhand, I mean, I know Ferrari could be classed as a supercar, but let's just say Maserati or you know Mercedes Benz. Even I mean, a Porsche 997 can be had from anywhere between. 80,000 Australian dollars to Carrera 4S. 997.1 Carrera 4S is probably around 130. The most expensive of the range would be the 997.2. Standard is about 130,000 Australian dollars. And the uh, GTS probably being around about 180 second hand now. Uh, GT3, GT3 values have jumped up a lot. Uh, three years ago, three, four years ago, they were about 150,000 Australian dollars. GT3 now costs, uh, you know, you can get one for about 225,000 out the door, drive away, um, second hand. So it includes stamp duty, second hand stamp duty here in Australia, which is quite high. Um, yeah, so number one is it's an affordable sports car. It's a great first Porsche. Uh, it's a great first Porsche. It's a great first sports car. It's a great first Porsche. It's affordable. It's a good entry into the 911 range. Now, I know people are going to have things in the, I know you're going to say in the comments, what about the 996? The 996 is, you know, is obviously still a great Porsche. Um, they can be had a lot cheaper in Australia, even though they've dried up a lot. They were selling for around 50, 60,000 Australian dollars for standard models, but they've really dried up. Um, I think people are holding on to them now. Um, but Let's just say the 997 is the best first Porsche. Uh, number two. Number two, is it? Yeah, number two. Uh, I mean, I guess this applies not only to the Porsche 997, but really in general, most, most of Porsches in the range. The Porsche is a practical sports car. It really is a practical sports car. Sure, there's not enough luggage space. Sure, you've only got the, the frunk, the trunk, the front trunk. But it, it's a usable, usable sports car. If you don't buy it in the GT3, which removes the rear seats, you have receipts. Sure, the rear seats only fit very small adults, children or adults who bend their head down a lot to the side when they're sitting in it, but it does actually fit four passengers. Now, that is practicality. Let's be honest, it's practicality. Uh, Porsches are reasonably quiet. Well, the base model that I have is reasonably quiet inside the cabin. Uh, that's going to change soon, actually. I'm, I'm just about to place an order on, um, well, I'm about to change my exhaust over, which I'll put in another vlog, but maybe you can say in the comments down below, have a guess which, uh, which exhaust I'm getting. Just to add to that why the 997 is a great first Porsche, it feels exclusive. Even in the base model, I mean, my car inside is reasonably base. It doesn't have extended leather. It doesn't have, I mean, it has a sunroof and, you know, I've showed you briefly inside in the previous, uh, previous vlogs, but it feels exclusive. A Porsche, when you drive it, you feel special. 
uh, it feels like an, it, it feels like a luxury car. It feels special inside. Even though Porsche, and I had an Audi before, even though Porsche's interior is not up to the same standard as say an Audi, I don't think it is. Um, but it it's something about the shape of the cabin. Um, it's a practical sports car, like I said. The pillars, the A, B, and C pillars are so thin, you have plenty of vision. I mean, that's the first thing I noticed when I drove the car, and I'd never driven a 911 before, is that you have so much vision through the sides. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, what number is that? Two or three, I forget. The next one's coming now. Okay, number four. The engine and the horsepower. Uh, this is really simple and this is really short. Uh, the weight distribution, the low center of gravity, um, the rear engine, uh, rear wheel drive, manual transmission, just, just adds to an ultimate driving experience. That's number four. And just remember, that's not, I'm not just, as you know, there's not just a 997. That's just a reason to buy a 911. Um, the boxer engine, the, the weight distribution, all of that combined together is just fantastic. Five. Um, it's, the 997 is a beautiful, beautiful water-cooled Porsche. Uh, it's a beautiful water-cooled Porsche. It is, it is refined, it is understated, it, it, it has everything that you want in, in a 911. Um, that's it. Number five. Okay, so this one is probably a little bit controversial and it depends on what car that you drive but um, the Porsche 997 is a future classic and you know a lot of most Porsches will become future classics I mean that is is we all know that that time always tells that it you know look at the um, look at the 80s models now you know um, the um, it's a future classic and it has been said, and you know, I've read this a lot on a lot of articles and a lot of forums, that it's the last true mechanical 997, last true mechanical 911. Uh, I'm not going to say I agree or disagree with that, but it is a future classic. I mean, a lot of people like the 997, a lot of people are keeping their 997.2s, a lot of people like the 997 over the 991, even though the 991 is faster, it's more tech, uh, it's bigger. You know the PDK on the on the 991 is fantastic, but as we know, a lot of people still like to keep the 997. I mean, if you base on what uh, the mechanics say, and I don't know whether this is all mechanics, but from the ones that I've been speaking to, is that the 997 is a much easier car to work on. Of course, in its basic form. I mean, when you get into the turbos and to the GT3s, I'm guessing they're a lot more complicated. But as a base Carrera, when I was doing my research. Uh, servicing and costs like that they're a lot you know they're a lot simpler than the 991 um, that's not saying you know we're not all wanting to have a 991 someday I, I still think a 991 is a great and I love the I love the 991 GTS um, but anyway okay so that's it for tonight um, I've managed to film this this uh, this Porsche chat tonight. Um, I'm sorry about the background; it's not terribly attractive. Um, I find it hard to get good light in this uh, apartment in this flat at night in London, so um, I tend not to film videos at night. But like I said, my days have been so full with work that I haven't had a chance, and I just wanted to I just wanted to post another Porsche video because I I, I keep thinking about uh, my car back in Sydney, and I keep thinking about how I can't wait to drive it. I'll be there very shortly. Um, like I said, I'm about to order an exhaust. It's not a new exhaust, it's an exhaust mod, so that's probably a tip for everyone who's actually helped me in a previous uh, previous vlog, so you probably guess what it is. Uh, I haven't placed the order yet, I'm about to place the order. Um, you know, it, it it is a... I'll do a vlog on it, but it, it's, it's supposed to be a more economical way to get the exhaust sound out of a base 997 or a base 911. Um, the thing is, with shipping to Australia and all that sort of thing, you know, it works out to be a little bit more expensive probably than it should be. But the quality, the workmanship, um, you know, the experience of, of this company in the US, um, I think it's going to be worthwhile. You probably already guessed what it is. I'm going to keep it a surprise just because I want to do a vlog on it and I want to film it. Um, hopefully being, hopefully being 
partly installed at the D at uh, my specialist in Sydney that I'm being that I've started going to. Um, yeah, I want to do a vlog on that. So that's something to that's something to come on the channel. Um, anyway, so that's it for today. That's my uh, top six reasons to buy a Porsche. 911, 997, but it could actually include most of the models. Um, I'm not, uh, please don't take me the wrong way here, I'm not saying the 997 is the best Porsche in the world, but I'm just saying these are the six reasons why, you know, probably in the end why I bought a 997. Um, thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe below if you like the video. Um, and thank you for all the, um, all the support so far. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.